Hello everyone, it's time for the next part in our videos on graphs and data. Here we'll be plotting more with raw data, because, let's be real, data is much more interesting to us when it's organized. Let's get started. The core of this video will be about making a histogram and what it means to do that. Let's get to it. First off, we gotta deal with stem and leaf plots. Now those, if you haven't seen them before, look something like this. Here you have your tens, and here you have your one. Next we'll look at frequency charts with cumulative frequency. So frequency charts might show you uh, the ranges that you're dealing with in a set of data, as well as how many times something like that happens in the data. Now what this shows is how many times a certain number or a range of numbers happens in a list of data. We'll take that data and turn it into a histogram. It's a type of bar graph that's specifically designed to show intervals. These intervals are set up to show the frequency of how many of a certain thing happened in a certain range. The way a histogram looks depends almost entirely on the way the intervals are set up. Smaller, narrower intervals will tend to show more precise bars, while wider intervals will generate more generic graphs. This is something that makes a lot more sense if we get a chance to make one for ourselves. Our first example is asking us to organize raw data from temperatures into a stem and leaf plot, and that means we're going to have to organize the stem and leaf plot. I notice that my lowest value in this table is zero, and my highest value appears to be 64. That means I need stems to match from the zeros to the 60s. Great, now that I have the stems filled in, I will have to place every leaf as each number. I'm going to do my best to leave the spacing so that the numbers can be listed from lowest to highest. There, now I'm done. If I needed to solve things like mean, median, and mode, and range is also very visually obvious as well. But we've finished the problem we're given. Let's move to the next one. Now, this question asks us to take the data we just put into a stem and leaf plot and organize it into a cumulative frequency table. So our first step is to set up the intervals. Now, they did give us intervals to use here, but at this point, we have to go back and look for frequency and cumulative frequency. And this means flipping back and forth between the two tables that we have. How many leaves do we have between 0 and 10? Well, we have two of them. And so far, our total number of values is 2. How about our 10 to 19? That would be 3. And that brings our cumulative total up to 5. Next, in our 20 to 29 range, there are two values, which will bring our cumulative frequency up to 7. And in the 30 to 39 range, we have a lot more. That comes out to nine values. From 40 to 49, we have another eight values. So we'll put eight in the frequency and our cumulative frequency rises to 24. In 50 to 59, we have another six values. So our frequency is six and our cumulative frequency is 30. And finally, in the 60 to 69 range, we have one value of four. So we'll put one in for frequency and our cumulative frequency will make 31. This is our finished frequency table, and it includes a column for cumulative frequency. Next, we're tasked with taking the data and putting it into a histogram. This is like making a bar graph, except that the bars come from the values in our frequency table. So, we'll use in the 0 to 9, we'll have a bar of 2. In 10 to 19, we'll have a bar of 3. From 20 to 29, we'll have a bar of 2. From 30 to 39, we'll have a bar of 9. Notice that the histogram didn't use the cumulative value, only the frequencies, so that each bar matches from frequency here to here. Now that we have that data organized, we can fairly quickly answer some questions. Let's start with what was the median high temperature for March in 2019? Since the median is the middle value of the raw data, we are gonna have to look at the raw data. Now, we've arranged it from low to high here, and we can check pretty quickly for the median. And it turns out that our median value is 40. Our second question asks us to determine how many days in March are colder than 30 degrees. And for this one, we can check back to either the histogram or, more quickly, the frequency table, since temperatures lower than 30 degrees are 
29 or lower, and our cumulative frequency up until 30 is 7. And that about wraps up this video on histogram and data plots. One final note, if you have a section of your frequency table that has nothing in it, your cumulative frequency number doesn't change for that row and will have a gap in the histogram. Well, that's it for this time. Hope you stay happy and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!